So on the bench then I've got uh, the triple feed patch antenna based on the uh, Pagona which is a uh, antenna we looked at uh, a few videos back now and uh, this is uh, designed by the same guy that uh, designed the Pagona uh, I got this in specifically because somebody asked me if uh, you need to use a 50 ohm termination with this because uh, some of the comments with uh, some of the uh, sellers on Amazon because this is open source so there's quite a few sellers uh, making this and selling them and uh, some of the questions are that uh, you know in the feedback of this that people are saying oh I haven't used a 50 ohm termination and it's fine without it and somebody asked me that question and uh, my gut instinct is that uh, it wouldn't work uh, as intended without that 50 ohm uh, termination so that's something we're going to take a look at today and uh, look at the uh, output on the spectrum analyzer to try and get a good idea of how well this performs um, I may do a second video where we break it down and take a closer look at uh, the design of this but for now I'm just going to do a, a quick overview of this uh, particular antenna and uh, take a look at it on the spectrum analyzer so the antenna itself is not uh, very big I did get this nice little uh, pouch with this particular one I bought this for £12.99 free shipping with uh, Amazon Prime uh, I have seen them for around uh, £10 but uh, £10 shipping on top of the uh, purchase price uh, yeah a nice little case for it to go in you also get a small pigtail as well for connecting it up there's not a great deal of room at the back to screw in a uh, SMA connector and mount it to anything so they give you this nice little pigtail as well now this has got quite a uh, broadband of operation from uh, the 5 gigahertz into the uh, 6 gigahertz so that's something we can see on the spectrum analyzer so let's take it over to the spectrum analyzer and see if it lives up to the same uh, performance as the uh, Pagona antenna because uh, as I said in that video that uh, was a really nice antenna and uh, you know an almost perfect antenna so let's see if this does the job just as well as that does now as for the uh, termination this is a uh, little 50 ohm termination really important that you get 50 ohm of course because everything uh, in uh, this spectrum here works on uh, 50 ohm and uh, this is a little uh, SMA uh, uh, 50 ohm termination you can get these uh, pretty cheap off the internet on eBay uh, if you don't mind waiting for them to come from uh, China you can pick up uh, five of these for around uh, four to five pounds pay a little bit more maybe uh, two or three pounds for one of these if you uh, purchase off a seller in your own country for instance but don't be paying any more than around three pounds for one of these they uh, really aren't that expensive so here it is on the spectrum analyzer then it's uh, centered on uh, 5.847 gigahertz that's the center line running down here but just look at uh, the output there on its uh, frequency of operation uh, across the spectrum there see how uh, really low it is just like uh, the Pagona antenna was uh, super super low that's why I said it you know it was really was an almost perfect uh, antenna but you can see how wide this is here so it's going to work well up into the uh, 6 gigahertz and uh, it will also work, work below 5.8 gigahertz as well so if you've got your transmitter with uh, you know a wide operating uh, frequency and uh, you're flying somewhere where there's a lot of people you want to uh, get out of the interference a little bit then you can go all the way down you know below uh, 5.8 gigahertz or up into the uh, 6 gigahertz region and this antenna is going to work just as well as it would in 5.8 gigahertz there really really nice output so what I'm going to do then is remove the 50 ohm termination I'm going to keep the camera running I will disturb it a little bit with my hands at first but then the spectrum analyzer will settle down and see if we get you know such a uh, nice output on the spectrum analyzer without that 50 ohm termination So you can see everything has uh, jumped up we've got uh, you know quite a nice frequency response here but it's nowhere near centered on uh, 5.8 gigahertz there it's uh, like a completely different antenna so if you're going to run this without the uh, 50 ohm termination you're not going to get 
the same results that you would if you were going to use that 50 ohm termination especially if you're going to use this uh, in an area where there's lots of trees you haven't got quite line of sight it will let you down the further out it goes in distance where if you uh, just pay that uh, little bit of money get yourself a uh, 50 ohm termination then uh, you know if you've got a uh, padona on your transmitter and one of these uh, Pagona patch antennas on your receiver I think you'd have a really nice setup especially if you don't want to go out too far you know you just want to go out to say uh, 1.5 miles something like that probably still work well at two miles if you've got good line of sight but uh, you know for general use I don't think you could go far wrong with a uh, setup with the uh, Pagona patch and the Pagona antenna on your uh, transmitter so here it is again then now I've uh, connected the 50 ohm termination back up really nice output it's gone back to uh, working really really well so what I think I'll do then this uh, antenna by the way I don't think I mentioned it is uh, a 9.3 dBi antenna not uh, particularly powerful of course but uh, you know it's not bad 9.3 so uh, I think uh, we'll give it the uh, second test then where I've tested all the other panel antennas before uh, you know just to see uh, what a uh, 9.3 dBi antenna looks like on the uh, test setup that I've been uh, using you know Jerry rigged here in the lab because uh, I'm pretty certain because the, of the guy who's designed this that it is operating at 9.3 dBi so I've got it on the uh, setup as you can see and we're getting uh, around 5 milliwatts it's fluctuating a little bit but it seems pretty stable at uh, 5 milliwatts so you know if we take a look at some of the uh, tests we've done in the past we probably are around uh, 9 dB here I mean uh, this is not a scientific test as I've uh, explained previously but it just gives us a general idea and uh, yeah this antenna is probably working at around uh, 9 dB so what I think will be interesting if I leave the camera rolling and remove that 50 ohm termination because a 50 ohm termination does have a little bit of loss in it it is eating a little bit of the uh, power coming into that antenna and uh, without the 50 ohm termination um, I'm pretty confident that we'll see these numbers jump up a little bit but of course as you saw in the spectrum analyzer removing the 50 ohm termination then makes it a pretty poor uh, antenna working at the frequency that we want it to work at so it's a kind of an offset it's a little bit like having a ballon on a Yagi on quite short Yagis I don't bother because uh, the amount of loss you get from that ballon doesn't offset the uh, performance of the antenna but uh, if you're making quite a long Yagi with uh, multiple elements I've found over the last couple of years having that ballon in place does uh, improve the performance of the antenna although there's a little bit of loss it keeps it more on centre frequency uh, and other things as well so let's see if those numbers do jump up a little bit when we remove that 50 ohm termination and indeed as you can see there they've jumped up by uh, about one milliwatt there we're now at uh, around six milliwatts so yes removing the 50 ohm termination does improve the uh, power performance of the antenna the gain of the antenna but of course because we know of what we know by looking at it on the uh, spectrum analyzer you, you lose performance in other areas so you're still better off having that uh, 50 ohm termination so hopefully you found uh, all that interesting I certainly did especially when I uh, removed the uh, 50 ohm termination on that power test there um, you know it just uh, goes to show you that just one test is not enough if we just uh, did the power test we'd think that uh, oh you know it uh, does perform really well by removing the uh, 50 ohm termination there but uh, as we saw in the spectrum analyzer that's not the case you have to look at the uh, overall picture so to conclude then I don't want to make this video too long um, I may look at this again in the future because we are going to do a video series where we design a uh, panel antenna for 5.8 gigahertz and it's going to be uh, several videos looking at uh, the different things we can do uh, you know to make it quite powerful without making something really really big because uh, when it comes to antenna design that's something that's uh, actually difficult to do but um, you know as a uh, you know set up this panel antenna especially when you use it with uh, the Pagona antenna 
if you don't have a lot of money you're just looking for uh, your first uh, antenna setup I don't think you can go far wrong with this but uh, as I said previously there's no one good antenna you should always have uh, a few different antennas in your uh, kit you know depending on the uh, different uh, terrain that you're flying in you know whether you've got line of sight whether you've got a lot of trees whether it's raining or not and uh, you know having uh, different antennas in your kit makes you know you can swap them out but uh, for this antenna anyway that the fact that you can choose whether it's uh, right hand circular polarized or left hand circular polarized very very nice it's pretty unique in that way so again i hope you did enjoy the video and found it informative any uh, comments or questions drop them below I'll do my best to answer them. Any uh, antennas that you want me to take a look at here in the lab because you know looking at them in the lab you get a different view of how they perform rather than just uh, flying off into the distance until you start getting uh, a little bit of snow on your screen. As I said you know lots of different tests then can give you a better overall picture of these antennas. So if you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up and hopefully you'll join me on the next one.